Hello everyone, it's me, Coffee Stitcher, wearing a Moira Rose shirt because she's fabulous. Um, how was everybody's week? Uh, it is Saturday night again. Um, I actually discovered last week doing it that way ended up working really well because I usually get, I seem to get finished with what I'm wanting to work on before dinner. So this is a good way to do something after dinner. And then I have all of Sunday to just take easy. So I may start doing these more on Saturdays. Um, we shall see. We shall see. Um, I do think I need to increase the brightness on the screen though. Oh, it's up as high as it goes. Um, so, we're going to dive right on in. We've got some Q&A. We don't have any stitching haul. Um, we do have some whip updates, including a finish that I'm very excited about. Um, I can go ahead and make my announcement that I couldn't make last week, and then I've got some golding stuff to talk about. So, um, probably won't be anywhere near as long as it was last week. Um, I will go ahead and let everyone know my second shot is next Saturday. If it goes the way the first one did at all, I will not be here on next week. So don't be alarmed. Um, once again, I'll post on Instagram, kind of let you know how I'm doing. But uh, chances are very good I will not be feeling up to um, doing a video. Um... All right, so let's dive right on in with the Q&A. Um, well, I guess first, the, um, the news. Uh, I was selected to be an Orifil Artisan for 2021. Um, it actually goes May to May, or May to April. Um, so this means that I will be um, using a lot of their, I'll be using a lot of their, their product uh, going forward. Um, so you're going to get to hear me see and hear me talk about it and use it. Um, I haven't gotten my welcome kit yet. I will have to request the threads that I need for projects. Um, so it may be a little bit before I really get rolling on it. Um, but I've got several things planned to use it for that I'm very excited about. So, um, yeah, so woohoo. All right. Um... Do, do, do. Uh, they've done some weirdness with the YouTube comments, so make sure I didn't accidentally miss something. Okay, I think we're good. Nope. Um, Robin B. asks, have I checked out any of Jenny's tutorials from Missouri Star Quilt Company? I have. Uh, I checked out hers. Hers and Fat Quarter are the two I watch the most. Um, and I do take advantage of Fat Quarter Shop. And they're, well, I take, char most of what you've seen me buy has been on sale from one of their flash sales, either at Fat Quarter or Missouri Star. Um, so, and I've got more coming hopefully this week. And I think that was it. So there really wasn't any Q&A this week, so don't be afraid to drop me Q&A, because you know I love the questions, and I love to answer things. All right, so there was no stitching haul, as I said, um, but I did work on a lot. I, or I got a lot accomplished, I should say, this week. So, First off, um, let's see, I did put in some stitches on um, Way to Happiness last week, not very many, I wasn't totally in the groove with it. Um, so this is Way to Happiness from Jardine Privé. Um, I did finish Q1 
keep you, and I finished out the dress on the lady. That was kind of it. So, still got a ways to go to at least getting one sal part done. Let's see, but I had a fairly productive stitching week at work on lunch with Baba Yaga. This is from Thread Sewer. Um, and I think I haven't shown it for a couple of weeks because I'm a terrible human being with that in regards to that. So let me get the So again, this is Thread Sewer. She's on Etsy. I will drop the link below. There is the full design. Um, I'm again, in case I haven't said it, I'm not going to be doing the border. Um, I'm as, as is, so I'm just doing the center part. Um, not because I dislike the border, but I have an idea that I want to use. So, and I've been working on one quadrant. So here I am, oh, here it is. Okay, I did not lose the needle. Okay. So I got this little motif done, I got that little motif finished out, and I started on the owl. So I'm working my way. I'm hoping to get, definitely I'll get the owl done this week. That shouldn't be a problem. I'm hoping to get the owl and a tree done. Um, cause that'll put me down to the bottom corner. And then we'll just keep working our way. Um, So, and this is on um, a one-off fabric from Fortnite Fabrics that I call Double Chocolate Chip, and it uh, uses the DMC Etoile. Alright, I did get one Whip Go Goal done, which was 400 stitches on Lizzie Kate's Spirit of Christmas. Um... which I didn't get as far as I thought. 400 ended up being a lot, significantly less than I anticipated. So 400 let me finish out the house and the tree next to the house. I really expected it would be a lot more stitches. <laughs> so here's where I'm at on it. Um, I do want to do, I thought about continuing on a little bit farther because I was still kind of wanting to work on it, but I do want to revise, I want to do a little bit more revision to it. Um, so we're going to wait and when I work on, and if I have to chart either, and I'll, I'll have to chart, chart out what I want to do. I just haven't done it yet. Right. So there's that. And then the big thing this week um, I did figure out my plan on Little Dove for the heart border, so I'll be working on that for sure tomorrow. Um, part two comes out on Monday. Um, but I had a finish of While Away the Hours by Pedal Pusher. Um, so I just pulled from Stash for it. The um, I'm, I stitched it on 32 Count Work Bitch by um, Fortnite Fabrics. Um, the minor changes I made were to do some specialty stitches. So the center parts of the pink flower, pinky red flowers are all um, French knots. I used straight stitches on the dandelion. I used various diamond-shaped stitches on the border down here. I did put in E.Y. Harburg in 1939, because I feel like a lot of the time um, the lyricist gets forgotten about. Um, when it comes to stuff, so I wanted to give him credit. And then I made this really, really cool 3D flower. Like, holy crap, y'all. I am so proud of how that turned out. So I watched, I was looking for, like, interesting flower embroidery patterns, and that was one I found on YouTube. Um, and it's kind of like half Lazy Daisies, just all worked around themselves, but I think it's so freaking awesome. So, um, and then after this video, I get to cut this part off of the fabric so that I can protect this from getting destroyed. 
um, which will probably mean I'm just going to cut straight across and um, then I'll tomorrow or the next day I'll fix my scene, set my all um, lock stitch that in. So, but here is, for those who don't remember, here is the little dove wizard paws. I showed y'all last week. And we'll work on it again this week because, like I said, part two comes out. Um, all right. So that's kind of it for the stitching portion of tonight's video. Um, if you're not interested in quilting, then I will see y'all probably and most likely in two weeks. Um, For those of you sticking around for the quilting, let's start. Okay, so first uh, we'll go over the haul. Um, I got a layer cake, a white Kona solids layer cake, um, which will come in handy for, I've got a couple layer cakes. There's a quilt that requires basically layer cakes. Um, I like saying layer cakes, layer cakes. Um, so that's, that'll be nice. Um, that came from Missouri Star. From Pine Needles, I got the next three kits for the Riley Blake um, block challenge. So we've got week seven. And these are really kind of nice because they include them in a nice little package. I've never actually shown you all these, I don't think. You get, she includes a printout of the pattern. It's a free pattern, so you can print it online, but it's nice to have it already in there. This is Reach for the Stars, by the way. So there was Reach for the Stars, there was a Butterfly, and I'm not sure what this other one is called. Let me look. The other one is Sugar Candy. So there's what Sugar Candy looks like, and there's obviously the Butterfly. Um, and then it comes with the fabric colors that you need for this particular, um, each particular block. Um, obviously the cutting instructions and all that good stuff. Um, but it's everything you need. So it's a fairly quick, um, you can, I can usually whip out, um, one of the blocks, or a couple of the blocks pretty quickly. So I have the next three that I can work on. I found through Nancy's Notions, and I actually need to order a second one, but I gotta wait for the next paycheck. Um, she still had some of Dorothy's Journey charm packs. So please, no one go out there and snipe one from me, because I, I meant to order two, I only ordered one. Um, and it's getting harder and harder to find these. So uh, I've got a charm pack, because I have a really cute table runner pattern that requires the two, requires two charm packs. So it's Dorothy's Journey, it's from Riley Blake, uh, designer was Jill Howarth, um, and you, you've seen her fabric, the, um, several of my Oz, um, project bags have that fabric, um, so I think it's really, really cute, and I'm really sorry that I didn't start quilting sooner, um, so that I could have grabbed more of said fabric. All right, then... I got an order from Jordan Fabrics, so I ordered, I did not remember ordering another <laughs> charm pack of ghosts and ghouls, of ghouls and goodies. I was calling it ghosts and ghoulies, y'all, and I just now realized that I've been calling it the wrong thing in everything. Sorry. Um, so I have another charm pack of this now. No clue what, what I'll use it for, so, because I used one already, but we'll show you that in a second. And then I got, because they had on sale, two charm packs of Hello Sunshine, um, which is this really pretty, it's like, real happy prints, um, like bees and rainbows and little bitty hearts. So I think it's super, super pretty. Um, no, sir. No, sir. Leave the computer alone. And I also got a layer cake on it. I have a problem. So. Um, Alright, so the Joyful Stripe Quilt Along got an extra week added to it for cutting. 
Um, I have a feeling I will probably get ahead. I just, I have a feeling that's going to be a thing that happens. So this is by Alison Ramsing. Um, week one was just supposed to be cutting, um, and then week two was supposed to be start sewing, but then she added an extra week for cutting. So this is the, um, what it looks like. To a degree, I think it kind of reminds me of Juicy Stripe Gum, um, the one with the zebra. But here are my cut, my bags of cut strips. Yay. Um, so I've got those ready to start making my strip sets, um, which I'm super excited for. And then, um, you may recall, I bought a Halloween quilt kit. Um, and I really liked the fabric. It uses that, that, um, ghouls and goodies. Um, I really liked the fabric, but I wasn't as wild. The more I looked at the pattern, the less wild about it I was. So this is actually, so, but I had enough to make a table runner or like four, just about from the quilt. So I made this really cute and it came together really fast. Um, this really cute table runner. I have to still quilt and back and bind. But it turned out so stinking cute. So the borders are the spider fabrics. Uh, and then I had to make hourglass blocks and I had to do all sorts of fun alternating things with it. And then I had just enough for the four center pieces of the, there were four of the trick or treat small might be give me something good to eat blocks. So I'm really, really thrilled with how this turned out and I can't wait to actually finish it. Um, fortunately Halloween is a ways off so I can be patient, so I have some time. So that was what I worked on this week. Um, so this coming week, like I said, the plan is going to be the Joyful Stripes, um, uh, most likely. Um, I will definitely be working on Oz Part 2, and then who knows what I'll work on from there. Um, I, like I said, I'm expecting I'm going to lose most of next weekend, so we'll, we'll see what happens. So, anyhow, I hope everyone has a terrific week, um... And I will see y'all in two weeks. Bye.